Today on The Joy of Editing, we're going to get a look at balanced color and adjust lighting in Topaz Photo AI. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Thank you for joining me today. Today, I'm pulling out Topaz Photo AI. This edit started out in Lightroom. I sent it into Photo AI as a raw file, denoised it, brought it back into Lightroom, and I've done no adjustments on it whatsoever, and I sent it into Photoshop from there. In my Photoshop workflow, I don't use Photo AI to adjust lighting or balance color on my images, but I thought, is this something that might be a good option for my starting point in Photoshop? So I thought I would examine that today. By the way, I want you to know there's a holiday sale going on over at Topaz Labs. I have links in the description below this video. Just click on my link. It'll take you over to the sale. If you use my link and purchase something, I make a small commission and this helps support my channel. So I appreciate it when you do that. If you need to purchase some Topaz software, now's a good time to do it. And also keep in mind, this is a limited time only sale. I don't know how long this sale will last. All right, then let's dive right in. So the first thing I want to do is duplicate my background layer. I'm just going to do a Commander Control J. I'm going to right click on this image and let's click on Convert to Smart Object. That way we can always go back in and retweak our adjustments in Topaz Photo AI. Now that I have my smart object, I'm going to come up here to filter, come to Topaz Labs and click on Topaz Photo AI. We'll launch it and get started. Now here we are inside of Topaz Photo AI. Right now we're zoomed into 100%. I'm going to click right here and change this to fit just so we can see the entire image. Now the first thing I want to do is click the plus for add enhancement and I will click on adjust lighting. Let's start out by adjusting the lighting. Okay, so there's the lighting adjustment. If we click the little eye, we can see there's the before and there's the after. Now that's pretty good. Now this number 25 is my default setting and you could change that. That's up to you. If you come over to the uh, Topaz Photo AI menu, click on preferences and then look for adjust lighting, click on it. And you'll note that my default adjustment strength is set at 25. And I believe this goes up to 75. Yes, it does but I like to keep mine right in the center at 25. And you can also have a raw adjustment setting, which I don't really care about because if you send a raw file into Topaz Photo AI and you use adjust lighting or balance color, it'll come back as a TIFF file. So I don't do that. I much prefer to send the image into Photoshop and do this. And then secondly, for balance color, you can set the default temperature value and the default opacity value. And if you change anything here, just click save. I haven't changed anything, so I'll click cancel. Now, if your image is dark to begin with, adjust lighting will lighten it. If it is light to begin with, adjust lighting will darken it. This image was dark to begin with, so adjust lighting has lightened it. And now my default setting here is 25. If I want it lighter, I can drag this to the right. If I want it darker, I could drag it to the left. So I could set it anywhere I want. But for this image, I do like 25. Now remember, this is a smart filter, so I can always come back here in Topaz Photo AI and make readjustments if needed. Now let's add another enhancement. We can click right here, and this time we'll add balance color. And there is the result. Now on these different layers here, I can shut off the eye to shut off the balance color and click on the eye again and turn it back on. Okay, it looks pretty good. Now, I also have a temperature adjustment and an opacity adjustment. If I wanted to warm this up some more, I could drag this slider to the right or cool it off by moving it to the left. Or if I feel the balance color effect is too strong, I could pull back on the opacity to say, like, let's try 80% right here. You know, and just tone that down just a little bit. And now let me come down to the bottom of the interface and click this eye. Here's the overall before. And now here's the after. And overall, I think it's a pretty good adjustment. This tree line back in here looks a little dark, but I'll show you how we would fix that in Photoshop. But for now, I think I'm done here in Topaz Photo AI. So I'll just click export to Adobe Photoshop. And now here we are back in Photoshop. Let me shut this layer off. Here's before and here is after. Now, if you need to go back and make some readjustments, double click on Topaz Photo AI, that'll open Topaz Photo AI back up and you can make some readjustments. And now let me show you how to lighten up this tree line. This is my workflow for Photoshop. I use the TK9 plugin for Photoshop. I would click on this button right here, which gives me a brightness contrast adjustment. Now I'm just looking at the tree line here. I would take the brightness adjustment slider, drag it to the right, to somewhere maybe right about there. 
and then I can increase contrast or maybe decrease. I think I'll decrease the contrast a little bit and I think that's good. This is a good starting point and obviously I don't want the whole image lightened like this, just the tree line. So what I need to do is put a black hide all mask on here. I could do a commander control I to put a black mask here, but if you have the TK9 plugin for Photoshop on the Combor 6 panel, click on this black mask button and you'll hide your adjustment. Now I need to select this area and it's really easy to do with the TK9 plugin for Photoshop and let me show you how. I would click on this button on the multi mask panel for a zone mask and click some of the dark tone in here and click OK on the color picker and you can see the light area is isolating those trees. Now I have this adjustment slider here which will tighten up my selection so I'll drag this into the left to really tighten it up. I want as much dark area around here as I can. And this is a brightness slider. I can lighten that up to make the effect a little bit stronger to right about there. And I think that's good. Now I need to output this. Now I'll be going to this brightness contrast layer. So I'll click this button right here. This makes sure I have a black mask with a white brush. And note this selection indicator, which is letting us know we will be painting through a selection. What I'll do now is with a brush about this size and I'm painting with 100% opacity, I can just paint over all of these dark trees and they will lighten up. Now remember, I am painting through a selection and this allows the lighting effect to only stay in the trees. So I can just continue to paint over these trees. If I don't want this tree lighter, I can stay away from it and maybe just paint on that tree and these guys over in here. And now if I shut this layer off, here's before and here's after. Now I can always come back here. If it's too light, I can pull back on the brightness a little bit just to darken it up, make it look a little more natural and maybe work with the contrast a little bit one way or the other. And I think that looks really good. Now let me shut this off. Here's before and here's after. So I think this is a really good starting point, starting out with Topaz Photo AI to adjust lighting and balance color. And then I brought it back into Photoshop and lightened up this tree line. And now this image for me is ready to start to develop in Photoshop, which I would do using the TK9 plugin for Photoshop. Now on my TK9 combo panel, I have this button right here. If I click it, this is where I started out. This is the overall before. And if I click it again, this is the after. And as I said, this is a good starting point. I'm going to continue to work with balance color and adjust lighting and see if I really can incorporate this into my workflow. For this image, I think it really works, but I'll keep working with different types of images with Topaz Photo AI's balance color and adjust lighting to see if I can really incorporate it into my Photoshop TK9 workflow. If you're using Photo AI's Balance Color and Adjust Lighting, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon, click all so that you'll receive all notifications, and then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.